is crowded. Garbage litters the streets and crime runs rampant around every corner. It's time for change. But that's where Project OPA comes in. The Overpopulation Prevention Agency aims to put a stop to overcrowding right at the source. People. This process begins by selecting the least beneficial members of society. After a citizen is chosen, they'll receive a notice, including instructions on how to complete their service. Once confirmation is received from the citizen, an OPA agent will be dispatched to their location. The agent must begin by tuning the nearest FM radio capable device to 92.7 USFM. After the patient has been thoroughly immersed in the history of their country, the agent can begin their work. Using our patented life restrictive compound, treatment is quick, painless, and humane. After the treatment has been completed, the waste management team arrives on location to verify the case and report the file. After watching, consider building a better tomorrow. Sir, he'll see you now. The world is crowded. Garbage litters the streets and crime runs rampant around. Oh, hey, big guy. Hope we didn't keep you waiting too long. No, sir, of course not, sir. That's just, you know, working on my chip shot. You golf? Never played, sir. Nah, nah, of course not. You seem more like a chess guy. Head case. No offense. None taken, sir. I never liked chess. Too many variables. Too much luck. I prefer golf. It's more easy, sir. Straightforward. Let's drop small talk down the brass tacks. Do you know why I called you here, don't you? No, sir. You've been with us here seven years now. My time does fly. Patient seen, 1,999. All that time, only one botched operation. Very impressive. You've done a great service, not only for us, but for your country. Thank you, sir. Unfortunately, now comes the hard part. As you know, when our employees complete their 2,000th case, they're given one of two options. First, stay here. Continue serving your country, paving the way for a brighter future. Second, uh, a nice government-sponsored vacation. Now you don't have to make I think I've made up my mind, sir. I'm sure you have, but before you make up your mind, I want you to think about your... You have kids? No, sir. Well then, think about my kids. My little boy, my little girl, my family. How would you feel if you got murdered by one of these sickos? Sad, sir? Well, that's too bad, kid. You got a good mind, you really hate to see it go to waste. I'll take the truth. It's a shame. It's a pleasure working with you. Let's get your next patient. House call, sir? He's a runner. Sir, it's my last day. I've sent four people after this guy already. Somehow he's outrun all of them. I need on this job is experience. One last time, and then you're out for good. Thank you, sir. I prefer to shake hands after the job is done. You understand. Hey, big guy. Don't forget. 
It's all for a better tomorrow. You've been with us here seven years. All that time, only one botched operation. Stay here. Can you serve your country? Well, my case. Or Last time, and you're out for good. What do you think the ratio of dead bodies to dollars is? One to one? No, that's way too low. After all, 2,000 bucks don't buy a big corporate office, does it? It's gotta be at least 10 bucks a pop, right? 10 bucks for someone's life? Still seems a little low, doesn't it? It's not too late to quit. Hell, you don't even have to quit. We have the money. to could go live on an island somewhere, drink pina coladas, and listen to Jimmy Buffett. What do you say? No, no. They'll catch me. Well, thought I had you there, but what are 10 more bucks, right? Looking for him. He isn't here. Hi, I'm with the OPA. I'm looking for the man currently registered under this address. So you're not here for me? Well, not technically, but... If you're not looking for me, then I don't need to talk to you. Okay, listen, ma'am. I was simply asking if you had any information as to the whereabouts of the man registered at this address. Well, if you want to find him, I suggest using a shovel. Excuse me? He drove his car off a cliff last week. Pretty nasty way to go. His corpse was so charred they couldn't even identify the body. It was in all the papers. Suicide? <laughs> nah, he's a good kid. His uh, engine exploded from all the heat. That's what you get for driving a Ford. Well, when's the last time you saw him? About uh, three days ago. He told me he was going for a drive and they found him a couple hours later. I told you, he's dead. He left his door open. I never got a letter. Doesn't matter. Do you know the man who lives here? Here? You're a little late. He drove us- I know. How do you know? He was my best friend. Your best friend that you are about to steal a TV from? Well, well, he would have wanted me to have it. Fine, whatever. When's the last time you saw him? Well, I don't know, three days ago? What else do you want to know? His favorite color? Sir, I'm just trying to close this case in an orderly manner. I'm sorry. I was under the impression that you're here to off my pal. Fortunately, the Ford Motor Company has already done that job for you. So unless there's anything else you need, I think you should get the hell out of here right now. Well, unfortunately, the only thing I need from you is your compliance. If I can't get it out of you willingly, I gotta make a call down to the boss. He's not gonna like this. And the only way this ends is that I get your name drawn for my next case. That doesn't end well for either of us. You can't do that! Oh, you'd be surprised just how much a government organization can accomplish if it really puts its mind to it. All right, all right. What do you want to know? Did he do anything out of the ordinary after you got the notice? Well, he, he took out a life insurance policy a few days after he got the letter. He was trying to do some good for some people. Life insurance? Who did he go to? It was that guy on TV with the annoying jingle. What was his name? I'm Bob Gulliver, and when I see dead people, you see cash. Cut. It's not there. I'm not feeling it. 
One more time, people, from the top. The feeling. I'm Bob Gold, and when I see dead people, you see cash. Cut! Bob, it's one line. Hi, I'm with the OPA. Get the hell off my... Second five. Doing marvelous, kid. Marvelous. And you're looking spectacular, kid. Like at least 20 years younger than when I last saw you. I mean, the skin's a little rough, I gotta admit, but... You know, I got a guy, Chinese healing cream. Make you look 28 years younger than you already are. If you want to give him a call, you give him a call, and if not, you know, it's Bobby. fine by me. This is important. <laughs> Straight to business, as always. Let's talk in my office. Falling on hard times? Hardly. I was sitting there in my air-conditioned office with my feet up on the desk and I realized something. Why pay thousands of dollars of rent for work I can do in my car? Your dignity? Dignity's for the rich. So, who are you looking for? A runner. I think he may have taken out a policy a few days ago. Drove his car off a bridge. Hmm. It's a nasty way to go. I handled one of those, but as far as I could tell, it was all clean. Clean? Come on, Bobby. I mean, the exploding engine? That's cliche even for you. You think I did this? It's way too messy. You never were a very good liar, Bobby. And you were never this persistent. Look, I know we didn't end on the best of terms, but let me tell you this is a professional courtesy. This case here, it stinks. Okay? So if I were you, I'd stay away from it. I think I'll take my chances. I'll say I didn't warn you. I should tell you what you need to know. Where he's at, where he's gonna be. He's meeting with one of my guys tonight. And if he does that, he'll have everything he needs to disappear. And after that, you'll have a lot more trouble finding him. So, uh, speaking of, what happens if you never find him? I don't know. I never asked. You got my kids. Murder. So, what's the plan? You gonna gun him down in the streets like John Dillinger? Maybe he'll become a martyr to the masses. Maybe he'll be the start of a glorious revolution. I'm gonna wait for him to leave the store, then I'm gonna apprehend him at the park. I like my idea better. Did you say apprehend? You really think he's gonna come that easy? I do, but I'm sure you're gonna tell me why I'm wrong anyways. Well, if I were you, I would just apprehend Bobby's man. I'm sure he knows exactly where this guy's going. Sounds like a whole lot more work. If you grab this kid in the middle of a crowded park, who knows what he could do? He could cause a scene. And that never looks good on a report. I'll think about it. Jesus, Bobby was right. That kid is young. He kind of looks like you, too. Is that supposed to make me sympathize with him? You? Sympathize? Of course not. You know, if I was in his place, he'd kill me. He's 20 minutes late, he's not showing up. You lost him. What do you think happens if you lose a patient? Well, sure. Maybe they'll make you start over again. 
Seven more years, wouldn't that be something? He'll show up. Maybe he will. Maybe. I think I've had enough of the little scenarios. Just gonna sit here and watch, or are you gonna go get him? OPA, you have the right to remain silent. What are you gonna trust? Your gut? or whatever part of your brain I represent. What's your name? I don't know anything. You're Gulliver's guy, right? Uh, I think so. You think so? You're meeting that man by the fountain, right? Yeah. But you don't know anything? Bill doesn't keep me in the loop. Bill? I swear, I, I don't know anything. You don't know anything. All right, let's. Well, you win some, you lose some. I'll admit it was a bad call, and that guy clearly knew nothing, so. I'll never find him. They'll kill me. They won't kill you. They might add on to your sentence, though. I'm so close. I'm almost out. Well, if I were you, and I am, 
I wouldn't go back. That job clearly isn't doing anything good for you. Doesn't matter. He'll find me. I'll be here forever. Hello? Big guy. How's it coming? Good. Really? Great. Then he's in custody? Well, almost. What does almost mean? He was almost in custody yesterday. I was very close. Well, I can't say I'm not slightly disappointed. Fortunately, that's what I called about. When you didn't bring him in yesterday, I thought you might have run into some trouble. So I pulled a few strings and we were able to find out where this guy's hiding. Sir, can I ask you something? Sure. Does what I do make me a bad person? You do what you're told. Well, I suppose this is where I'm supposed to give you an ultimatum. But I think you know where I stand on this. Whatever. I don't really care anymore, just... Just do what you want. These people, they're an unfortunate necessity in our modern age. Maybe they belong at another time with some other people, but not here. Unfortunately, that's where you come in. Don't think of it as killing. Think of it as putting an old dog out of its misery. You ever see old Yeller? I don't feel safe with these people walking the streets. Think of the children. How do you want it done? As discreetly as possible.
remember, this is all for a better tomorrow.